YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And we're going to take a little walk and go down to the uh, mailbox. And pick up the mail. Well, in the meantime, while we're walking, I'll tell you a little story. Bison detective is on the job. <laughs> uh, I had my Ubisoft account hacked and stolen, and when he got my game, he changed my savings so that when I go to play, uh, then I have to start all over from where he saved it. And I know that sun was just in y'all's eyes. And uh, it just so happened that I wanted to check because his username just sounded like a YouTube channel. Uh, just, it was perfect for a YouTube channel. So I went to uh, YouTube, typed in his username, and sure enough, he was posting a video of Far Cry 5 that he had just stolen from me and was using my profile picture and using my username to play the game online. Well, I probably should have kept my mouth shut and didn't say nothing to him and just uh, waited until Google pounced on his ass or YouTube or Ubisoft or all three. Well, all two, because YouTube and Google is the same thing. But I, uh, I didn't. I kept. I opened my mouth, gave him a warning, basically, and I shouldn't have done that. I'd love to have seen his channel go down. I can't stand a thief. Did I tell you that? Anyway. He took the video down, but last night I was able to record the video that he put up because after he deleted it, I still had it loaded in my computer and had been paused for a long time after I found it because I wanted to keep it open so I could go back and watch the uh, parts and see if there's anything in it that would help me out and it was still loaded in my cache so all of it was loaded so I could go and play it all over again now if I exit that and go to try to play the video then it's gone because he's deleted it so there's nothing to go back to Right now, I've got it saved in my stuff. Still yet. But, uh, <clears throat> I caught his ass. <laughs> and I don't know how he done that, man. That, that was either a fluke accident or he just a smart man. Anyway, let me bring y'all back. We're down here at the mailbox, and we're going to get the mail, and we've got some score in it. <coughs> but I thought that was funny as hell. Well, funny that he got caught. Yeah, yeah, I'm still not happy about what happened. That's bullshit, man. Buy your own stuff, man. Leave my stuff alone. I didn't do nothing to him. And there's my package. 
So let's bring you back up. No trash out in the walk or in our road. So probably ain't nothing in the dumpster either. But we'll go look anyway. See if there's anything in the dumpster. Now this should be a controller from a drill press, which is the identical controller that I just put on the nothing in there but trash. Um, the same one I put on the bandsaw. And we're going to do the same thing to the drill press. More so now because today I just found out that I definitely need this thing to be at a steady torque speed, not speeding up when it does get torqued. We want to regulate that torquing or at speed. So I want control of that speed, not not the controller. And that'll bring me another 50 bucks because I'm getting 50 bucks for them controllers. So every treadmill I take apart, I just sell the controllers on eBay. Uh, so I got one more coming up. So if anybody wants to buy it, uh, go to eBay and look me up. Uh, we're going to go up here to the trailer. And show you what we've done to the uh, trailer, the garden trailer. And man, that's a walk, dude. And dude, that's that is almost straight downhill. The other side over there is worse. And believe it or not. Walking down the hill is just as stressful to your body as walking up the hill because you're walking up the hill, you're pulling yourself up the hill. Well, when you're going down the hill, you're trying to keep yourself from going too fast. <laughs> so you've got that backward pressure going on. So either way, this hill gets you. Yeah, it might be downhill one way, but that downhill is just the same, just as bad as the uphill. God forbid you get any snow on here, man. Shit. You get a little ice on this, man, you're going straight to the bottom. <laughs> Brakes ain't going to help you. Alright, so there's the tongue mounted to it, and I mounted it underneath. Alright, then I put a brake on it that goes underneath there, and I'll show you what we got. I'll show you it working first. Parking brake. All right. Then I'll bring you up here and we'll put this upside down and show you how we've done it. So basically, you got a rod that goes in there, which is the original rod coming through this hole. Right here, coming up here to a spring, then to that rod, and then to the handle. 
Now, I may put something here to keep all this in line. I don't know. It might ride there just fine. So, basically what we're gonna do is once we get it all together, Once we get this thing all together and got a bed on it and everything else is mounted, we might just put some kind of a rod here on a lever so that when we pull this up, we can just put it in one of these adjuster holes. So I could change the angle on it to tighter or looser by these holes. Now this came off of a garage door and uh, That'll work. And then I'll just make me a rest right there to rest that. And then a lever right here to put in these holes once I get it pulled back into lock position. And we'll put some kind of a rubber handle on the top of it. Alright. We don't want this thing rattling a lot either. So I'll do a better job on this. I may remake this. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about using a washer because what I'd like to do is make a washer like that that goes inside this and is thicker than this by about a 30 seconds or a sixteenth of an inch. That way, once you tighten the bolt up, this here will freely go on it. So, I want to make one of these to fit on there so that uh, this will stay straight. The problem we have here is I had one hell of a time drilling that hole out. I had to go through two bits and I brought both of them trying to get through this stuff. I don't know what this stuff is but it's pretty serious stuff. So I may have to do a great old big quarter inch washer and uh, cut this and then put the washer in place and then mill it out and then weld this to one side of the washer and this to the other side of the washer so it has like an elbow. I don't know yet. It'd be nice if this was wider. But I might be able to just mill that out and still have enough meat on each side to make that washer fit in there. It, it would leave me with about About a quarter inch on each side, maybe a little less. It should be enough. I mean, it's just a break. So, we got to mill this out and make a washer like this, hopefully out of brass. And uh, we'll show you that once it's done. Uh, when I did this hole, I didn't do it on the drill press, and I'm very, very mad that I got that, that crooked man. That thing's going downhill, and in order to fix that, that going it. Yeah, I got that whole crooked because I didn't do it on a drill press. Might have to file this hole down a little bit so that it is uh, in line with the other one. And just put a washer on this side to hide that hole. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like freehanding a drill.
anyway we'll get that done and uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty decent trailer uh, still got to put the jack bottom on the jack or foot and put this on and make a bracket for here with a lever I don't know if I got any more of that but we'll find something anyway stay tuned alright guys we got some wet paint on it and uh, I had to weld a bracket here and a weld a bracket here and basically the parking brake is on right now so you can't move the trailer it's locked up so now we take that off lay it in its cradle and we are loose and then you just clip it down into its cradle and it's spring loaded that should work so the next thing we got to do is find it here I gotta put a shifter and I'm probably too loud for you guys but I'm gonna have to put a shifter on this somewhere so that we can shift this PTO that we're gonna we're gonna turn this into a PTO down in here uh, the problem is I can't find my pulley I painted it and it's disappeared so I gotta find the pulley for it and we gotta put a shifter down here and use this I, I need the original thing that came on this to use for that but I don't know what I did with it. I wasn't planning on using it. So, make this a lesson. Do not throw away anything that went to this tractor when it was a tractor. Because you can use just about every part, even the dash. And I bet you I could turn around and make and use the uh, fender wells somewhere too you never know but never throw away any pieces and parts so anyway the neighbor invited me over for dinner so I gotta get cleaned up and go over there and then come back and edit this video uh, I hope you guys found this to be entertaining and um, help you figure out a way to make a trailer out of a tractor and uh, I hope you guys have a good day or had a good day don't forget to like comment share subscribe burn that like button up if you want to contribute to the shop and help the shop out, you can do that with PayPal through Bison Workshop at gmail.com. You guys have a good one. Later.